Well, it's Tuesday and I'm thinking I'd like to go to a coffee shop and take my little brother thermal typewriter that I've been playing with the last week or so and just try it out and see what happens when I take it to a coffee shop, kind of a public setting, see how practical it works for that purpose. Coffee. I'm at Rusty's Gold Coffee Shop here in Northeast Albuquerque, and I brought the brother EP20. Brackets that I put together. You have this bracket that you can move around behind the machine and you can push it far back if you have enough table space or you can put it right up against the back of the machine here and just have a service loop of slack that goes behind it and then it feeds into the front and behind the platen and it comes back out here on the front so plenty of room and not that big of a footprint. What I'm actually going to be doing today is not just shooting this video, and, but I want to actually write a blog article. And this typewriter is um, 10 characters per inch. And so I want to have a fairly narrow column when I type my blog article. I don't want it to be too wide so that otherwise in, in my template on my blog, it'll be too small letters to read. So. Um, so I don't waste paper because this is thermal paper. It's a little more pricey than normal paper. I've cut some sheets that are five inches wide, basically just cut crosswise to the roll of paper. So they're eight and a half by five. And I'm going to be typing vertically on these in the machine. And so I, I brought three of these already pre-cut so I can, I can have enough for, to, for an actual blog article. So I'm going to try to he sit here and work on this blog article. So I'm going to unthread the roll of paper and thread up this other paper. And of course, I'll have to set my margins. So I'm going to first straighten out the paper like you would with any typewriter. Then I go to the direct print position and set my left margin and my right margin. And set a tab for indenting. Well, this is an interesting thing to do is to come to a public place with a typewriter. And a lot of people in the typosphere talk about doing this, but the problem is always, if you bring a manual typewriter, of course, they're always loud. And that's always the problem. It's just things are loud. You have to find a place that's loud enough on top of it that they won't mind the noise, or you have to uh, sit outside on a patio or something, which in the wintertime and the cold climates can be uncomfortable certainly but so that's kind of one of the appeals to these kinds of battery powered thermal printing typewriter like this brother EP20 and other typewriters like the Canon Type Stars for instance they're just uh, battery powered they're very attractive in terms of their portability and they're pretty quiet now keep in mind that on this particular model when I'm in the mode of printing, the printing itself is almost dead quiet. The sound of me operating the keys is probably louder than the printing itself. But at the end of every line is this carriage return where the printhead mechanism kind of resets and it goes back to the beginning and then it makes another click. There's two little clicky sounds. So that is kind of an intermittent noise it makes. And then secondly is you do have to wait for it to finish the carriage return before you can continue typing on this particular model, the EP20. Some of the more advanced thermal typewriters had a buffer. but So you have this every line you type and then you wait about a few seconds. So that's a usability issue. We'll see if it works.
Well, one page done. I guess I'm going to go to a second second page here on my my blog article. Get it threaded up here. Okay, ready for page two. Where did I leave off at? Oh, yeah. Well, I got two pages written. Two-page blog article written. Five-inch wide paper. Um, it worked pretty good overall. I think uh, I had a few issues of cutting off the words at the very end of the line on a couple lines because I ignored the margin warning and tried to go too far. But other than that, it's not bad. I, I was using mainly the uh, correction printing mode on this EP20 where you have the 15 character buffer that it r goes through before it starts printing. Overall, it wasn't bad, I think. I, I think it, it's gonna be practical. I guess one of the real questions is, if you're a writer, do you really want to write at a coffee shop or a public place? Uh, people like Stephen King, for instance, they typically have their own office at home. And they work at home and they don't want to be distracted. There's other kinds of writers that do like that kind of uh, stimulation, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe that's just an affectation of the amateur wannabe writer. But I don't have any problem being out here in coffee shops. Like what I'm doing, the kind of writing I'm doing is either blog articles, journal writing, or, sh or stories. Uh, I think uh, I'm okay with it. I kind of like the stimulation of being out in public and having a tool like this thermal typewriter is kind of a first draft tool for uh, drafting your initial ideas. It is, it is fairly quiet, it's portable, it's battery powered, it's pretty much just like a manual typewriter, but a lot quieter. So I, I, I see this fairly pragmatic and practical thing to use. One advantage of these uh, electronic typewriters is uh, they don't have a carriage that moves back and forth so you can put things right next to it and you don't have to worry about it sliding around and hitting things like coffee cups for instance. My reflections on this machine as far as a writing tool for writing out in public are first of all the size, weight, portability and battery power is equivalent to an older laptop computer. So in that regard, it's fine. The little carrying bag it comes with is quite small, actually. It's pretty decent. And I was able to figure out how to make this little paper roll holder that comes apart in pieces and goes in the front pouch of the bag, sits nice and flat, and to carry that, the whole roll of paper with me. Uh, so, uh, but of course, if you pre-cut some pages like this, uh, you don't even need to bring that holder, but it worked fine. Um, as far as the noise, the main thing right, was I was concerned was the noise because I'm comparing this to using a manual typewriter in public. And the issue is really it's about when it comes to the end of line, it makes a clunky noise when you hit the carriage return. And then when it stops at the beginning of the line, it makes that clicky noise. And also every time you do a line advance. That's the only real noise that anybody can hear. And I don't think it was too bothersome, at least not like a manual typewriter would be. And one of the indications of that is that I didn't, uh, you know, with a manual typewriter, I usually have people come up to me and talk to me about the typewriter because they notice it. But this thing looks close enough to a computer that nobody really pays any attention to it, which says a lot about how useful it would be in the public setting as a typing tool, a writing tool. So I'm basically writing directly to paper. Paper is my memory medium here of note, thermal paper. So, well, this is Joe Van Cleve and uh, having a little bit of a writing session here at Rusta's Gold Coffee Shop in Albuquerque. Till next time, you guys have yourselves a great day.